All right, page 24. So, first stop, zero two. Huh. What have we always had with zero? If x is zero, what have we always had y be? If x was zero, what is always next to the y? Or right here. Zero, right? But not today. Today it's zero two. So where would this dot be? This exactly on the two. Exactly on the two right there. Okay, let's graph one three. Two, four, three, five, four, six. So it's a straight line, it is a straight line, right? Once you graph it, it is definitely a straight line. But it doesn't go through the origin. You can clearly see, does it go through zero, zero? No. No. So here, is, it, is the graph a straight line? Yes. But does it go through the origin? No. No. So immediately, is it proportional or not? Nope. So there's no unit rate and there's no equation. It just takes one thing to ruin everything. Just one little thing. That's it. We're done. <sighs> yeah. There. None. N O N E. None. All right. Let's start graphing the next one. Two, three, four, six, six, nine, eight, twelve. Remember, you have to be able to graph next year and in high school. Graphing is kind of like adding and subtracting. It's now a basic thing that you need. All right, two, three, four, six, six, nine, eight, twelve. It's straight. It's straight. And does it go through the origin? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it does go through the origin. Is it a straight line? Yes. So all the dots line up in one single straight line. So if this is on the test, like a map test or an s back they're going to give you the graph and you have to look at the graph and go okay what are the two things that must happen it has to go through the zero zero and it has to be a straight line and then you just answer it like proportional or not proportional and that's it i don't i've never seen them actually you graph it it's always the graph is done so it's easier in a way all right so therefore we have to find the unit rate Two times what is three? Oh, I don't know. Two times two is four. Two times one is two. And there's no one. When I look at the one, though, on the graph, I look at the one. See, here I am looking. Do you see how it's not in a corner? Yep. So that tells me that my answer is going to be a decimal. Mm -hmm. Does that look like 0.5? It's right here. Would you bet getting everything wrong by just assuming? No, there's a math way to do it. We have to angel divide. X and Y. Y goes inside, X goes outside. Cool. What number do I put inside? What number do I put outside? Two. How many times does two go into three? How many times is two going to three? One time. One time, thank you. Two, remainder one. Do I just put this one up here? It's a remainder. Nope. Dot, dot zero. Good. How many times is two going to ten? Five. Five. So what does this answer represent? What does it represent? My unit rate. What's my equation? Fancy X. Make sure you call it for the rest of your life, Fancy X. It's good, it's good. When you help out your kids in 30 million years, you'll be like, oh, it's called a Fancy X. Well, that's super random. 
All right, number three. Let's not find out anytime soon. How about that, Victor? Let's focus on number three. All right, let's graph it. Let's graph number three, please. Graphing number three. We're graphing number three. We're graphing. Do it before I do it. Jamila needs a moment. We're graphing, we're graphing, we're coming, becoming experts on graphing. I was almost going to mess it up. So, straight line? Yeah. Yeah. Goes to the origin? Yeah. So therefore, we need a unit rate. What's my unit rate? One. Two. Two. Where'd you look for it? One. Right here, right there. Or you can divide four divided by two. Whatever, there's so many places you can find the unit rate. Unit rate is two, equation is y equals two x. So, does it go through the origin? Yes. Is it a straight line? Yes, it is proportional. Proportional means the price doesn't change. If you buy one hot dog or if you buy a hundred hot dogs, each hot dog is worth the same amount of money. Okay? All right, uno mas, uno mas, uno mas. Let's do this. One more, number four, number four. Let's do it. Let's graph it. Let's graph it. Quick, quick, faster, faster. Go, faster. Huh? Come on, faster. So it is a straight line? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. Seems like a straight line, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we connect them. Does not go through the origin. Sad face. It's a really weird sad face. Straight line, yes. Proportional, no. So there is no equation. None. None. I, even though I asked for the equation twice. Now, done? not yet. Because look, there's a box right here. Boxes are super important. What makes a line proportional? What makes a line proportional? So when there's a graph line, what makes it proportional? What are the two things that must happen? In order for it to be considered proportional. That's it. Literally, they ask you that question. So, uh, yeah, as soon as it's a no for one of them, you're done. What makes a line proportional? It has to be a straight line. It has to be a straight line and go through the origin. Yay, Ruben. Good thing I recorded myself so you can catch up this weekend on this most amazing YouTube video. Hey, you know